Have you been downtown lately? If you have, you know that it seems there's a lot of commotion going on in the city. <laughs> Construction, businesses opening, and perhaps most important, people there at all hours of the day and night. What's going on in Cincinnati? Well, we sent 9 News anchor Tanya O'Rourke downtown to find out. Clyde and Carol, what I found is that Cincinnati's on the move. You, you said it well. There's a lot happening on virtually every block. Gone are blocks upon blocks of blighted buildings and empty storefronts. Now, no one's suggesting that Cincinnati's perfect, that every building's leased, or somehow our town has become Manhattan. But let us show you what folks around town are noticing, that Cincinnati is rising. long ago, when the workday ended, Cincinnati's sidewalks rolled up for the night. But now, when the sun sets, the sleepy town waits. And now, like, Fountain Square is just, like, effervescent and bubbling. It's full of energy. Kevin Michelle grew up in Maine. He now lives and works in downtown Cincinnati. And I think the energy is kind of starting to radiate outward. He's right. 3CDC, which renovated Fountain Square, planned it that way. Bring the energy here, then bounce to places like Nada, the Aronoff, over the Rhine. Add in places like the Banks between the Reds and Bengals stadiums. Well, you had Johnny Rockets directly across from us, uh, Holy Grails right below us. Uh, you have Christian Moore line across the way. And suddenly, Cincinnati is hopping. Michael Lee lives at Kern at the Banks. There's a waiting list to live here among the sports, the restaurants, and the bars. A Westsider by birth, he never imagined himself living downtown. But he says the city has a vibe. When you live downtown and you start getting phone calls of people that wanting to come down and, and uh, you know, visit you know, downtown Cincinnati, which never used to be the case. Now that the casino's a sure bet, he says he can feel the excitement growing. This summer, the world arrives singing in Cincinnati for the World Choir Games. If you can't get excited or feel proud about this, then I'm not, I'm not sure you can get excited about anything. Steve Lieber, CEO of 3CDC, has great pride in Over the Rhine. Eight years ago, this was these were vacant buildings. Today, Over the Rhine boasts repainted, refurbished Italianate buildings that house hip restaurants and cool shops like Sloan. Owner Duru Arman moved here from a big city three years ago and just fell in love. I've just never seen so many people so excited about a city. Restaurants here regularly have two hour waits. Condos and apartments are nearly sold out. And more development is coming, like Washington Park, the streetcar, more renovated buildings, restaurants, office space, and homes. But is it sustainable? Leaper emphatically says yes. This is something that you cannot stop. You got to keep investing. You got to keep the momentum. You can't sleep. Do you need some hard proof that Cincinnati's on the upswing? Lonely Planet, a travel website, recently named Cincinnati a top destination for 2012. Cincinnati is third on that list. The Cincinnati USA Regional Chamber tells me Cincinnati had more total job growth in 2011 than Columbus and Cleveland combined. And in Over the Rhine, of 3CDC's first four phases of condos and homes, only 12 units have yet to sell. There are plenty more facts that may make you sit up and take notice. They are on our website, WCPO.com. And of course, we want to know what you think about Cincinnati. Right. Thank you, Tanya. And you know, Steve and I were just comparing notes. You were talking about the banks being so yeah. cool. And I was saying down on Vine Street and over the Rhine, it's a real happening place. It's fun know? to be a part of the city. It is. Right now. It really it is. is. Absolutely. Very much so.